All right, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's Mr. Aimo Specified the way. We are back. We're still uh, working on the greenhouse project. Now, we're going to feed the snails in the greenhouse. Probably, we want to show you how to feed the snails in the greenhouse and also how to water the greenhouse. Remember, we said the greenhouse is made up of three materials we have the net, we have the UV treated sapling, and we have the iron bars or poles that help to form the dome shape. So uh, the net once again permits air flow while the tarpaulin helps to prevent rain from entering the building and also reduces the amount of heat that is emitted into the building. So when the sun is shining outside and the heat is intense, if you go inside the greenhouse, you won't feel the effect as when you are outside the greenhouse. So that's the essence why we use the UV treated tarpaulin. If not, one could have just used any type of tarpaulin. But the tarpaulin is also very durable, it is 5 years durability, so it gives you time before you think about changing it. So this is the feed for the snails, we formulated them yesterday, uh, we've had little water to take away the dustiness of the feed. So we're going to spray it inside and uh, we'll bring it inside now so you can see how it works. Now remember these are the platforms where we have to step our foot so we don't step on the bare soil and we don't damage the snow. So this is it. Now you can come and see how the sprinklers work. So you can see it rotates. It will keep rotating. Now in the process of rotating, the water will wet this. As you can see, this is wet already. So all you have to do is you stand here and you sprinkle the seed like this. Spread it on this. I'm getting wet because of you now. So you can see this one comes short, that one takes 2 meters, and this takes about 3 meters. So as it rotates like this, every area of the greenhouse is wet. It will come inside and you see. The same thing is going on here. So you can see we have them in strategic location. This is how we actually wet the greenhouse. So every area of it gets the water. So that way the snows are conducive inside. So you don't have to allow rainwater to come inside. So the temperature inside the greenhouse is regulated. So the amount of water we want to be in this greenhouse is what we introduce. So if you allow rainwater to come in, especially days when the rain is heavy, you will have this place flooded. So to avoid situations like that, we have to do the UV treated sheet that takes out the water from the rain. And it is only the water we want to be here that is introduced here. So these are all feeding platforms. So while you stand on the walking path, you can just spread the feed on this and spread it on this. So in the night, the snails will come on top of it to feed. So the thing, we're only doing this just to show you because we're still very much in the early uh, afternoon hours. We are not planning to feed now, but we just want to show you how it is done. So you can see the work on the platform. Get here, we spread the feed on top, like this. So the water on the bed and platform helps to suck or absorb, absorb the feed. So the snails will come up in the night and feed on top of this platform. Then during the daytime, they will go under the platform. So these feeding platforms serve as an environment for shade and also for feeding the snails. So that's how we have it. So like I said, we don't step on the bed soil. On the roof, so you can see we have the same glass everywhere. So that is how we sprinkle the greenhouse with the water. So, uh, this is the most we can show you for now. Probably the next video we'll be making will be showing you when the snails are feeding on the night and also when they are hiding under these platforms during the daytime. So, this is how far we can go. For today, and once again, my name is Mr. Amos Kesta, I'm the CEO of Kesta Amos from Global Services Limited.
We are always looking at ways to reduce cost of production with what we do. As consultants, we are not here to make you spend huge sums of money. Like we said, this greenhouse can contain 80,000 snails. But if you are to build only concrete fence for 80,000 snails, you will spend as much as 20, 15 to 20 million in building such amounts of pens. But with a single greenhouse like this, we have been able to produce a natural environment for the snails that will contain as much as 80,000 snails within a limited space and you spend less, which is just 2.5 million, to set up this. The poles, the nets, and the UV treated tarpaulin. All you have to do before our arrival will give you the dimensions and you build the block work. So when we come, we install the greenhouse inside on top of the block work that has been done. So this is it. And of course, we always tell you to stay safe. We only try as much as we can to get here during this period of Corona. It's not always advisable to move around, except it is very necessary. And it is necessary for us to come and do this for your own benefit. So stay at home, stay safe. The number to call once again is plus two three four eight zero six eight five two five zero three two. God bless you and bye bye.